all right so today oh my gosh today is day oh, okay it is january 8th 2018 oh my gosh already eight days into the new year y'all isn't that crazy okay so right now i'm currently waiting on babe so that way we can go ahead and go to the grocery store so we can get some food in this house y'all yeah because um pretty much at the new year we have not really for real for real bought anything because um we had some stuff because when my mom came a while bad boy she hooked me up i was like thanks mom so yeah shout out to mom on that because mom know me like baby i like to eat here you go baby right here hold on y'all look my hair let me see y'all i retwisted her hair this morning woo -woo. Woo -woo. <laughs> nigga i'll wear it let me see i know Oh yeah, turn your head to the side. Oh yeah, turn your head the other way. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we've made it. <sighs> Fist gonna get inside here so we can get this vegetable. I mean, you want the red? Oh, they're red or green. Oh, these look nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do that on camera, bye. I don't look ambrosia apples. I've never had one of those. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna try it. Oh, don't these veggies look so delicious? <sighs> yeah, iceberg lettuce, broccoli crabs. They sell mushrooms, which I know I'm not really a big fan of mushrooms like that for real. They just get Brussels sprouts. Let me see. Uh, a few more. I got you hooked on Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts are good, y'all. I didn't yeah, used to like them. Yeah, because I didn't know that they were baby cabbages. I was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said I was stupid. I didn't know. And then babe put me on. I was loving it. I sauteed it for y'all. Yeah. Huh? What I did to her. Then I sauteed them? Yeah, I think you sauteed them. Or you did something to them. I don't know what you did to them. <laughs> Annie, you did what? <laughs> okay. I'm going to get a bag of carrots. Y'all, I think I'm going to make a couple of juices this week. Yeah. Get a juice. But did you want some um, bell peppers? That's three ninety nine dollars a bag. I don't want them that big. Those are huge, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to get some um, lemons. I'm going to get a bag. Huh? Yeah, I don't really use limes like that for real, for real.
We just need some traditional. Yeah, and some brown rice. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Hold on, baby. Slow down. I'm trying to find it. Just stay right there. Okay, well, I'm trying to find it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the one we had is empty. We want the... Let's see. Try to cover the camera. And... Did you like the white quinoa? You liked it now? Okay. I mean, I'm only asking because if you didn't like it, we ain't going to get it. You know, point. You ain't had couscous. And they got in the um, roasted red pepper and basil. Wild mushroom and herb. They had the parmesan flavor. This is another flavor. The move that one. Yeah, rosemary and olive oil. Here's the one we get from... Yeah, Near East. The packaging has changed. Yeah, the packaging has changed. Alright, you guys. So, y'all know pretty much I like to share with you guys what we picked up from the store and some other stuff on the dining table. But we're going to actually start out with what we have on the countertop right here. And y'all know pretty much from my lifestyle videos, they're really laid back. They're not as super formal as far as like my natural hair or beauty content. So, I'm very appreciative of that because I feel like it's more personable. So, starting out with this, y'all. I have fallen in love with this detail. Um, I um, was initially introduced to this by Vondra, um, typical black queen. You guys definitely follow her over on Instagram. Very good for those who are type 4. She definitely caters to you guys, so definitely head over there and check out her um, content. She also has her um, brunch, a mother's, a mother's brunch, and she's having her next one on May 5th in the DMV area. So I'll make sure to leave her information down below, but y'all, I love this. I actually like to have this with some um, tea, with my detox tea, and it's really, really good. It's not strong as the original ACV, which I do have because that one by Brass is very, very strong, but this one is really, really good. You can just drink it just like how it is, and yeah, so this one contains lemon, cinnamon, and honey. And I picked up two of those. And then we got some pickles. These are from Mount Olive. These are the kosher dill, dill spears. Love those. Picked up two cans of tomato sauce. I like to just use these hunt ones for when I make my spaghetti. I'm not honestly particular on what kind of spaghetti sauce that I use. But I always gravitate towards this one. Very just simplistic, basic. And I always jazz it up with some more tomatoes and other herbs and spices as well. Um, these are babe snacks. Um, I see your hot pockets a lot growing up actually, but these are the hickory ham and cheddar um, crispy buttery crust. And then we got some egos. This is a home style. I like egos, you guys. I grew up eating those. Um, oh. Want to start talking? Okay, so then um, <laughs> I picked up four of the vegetable broths from Walmart. Y'all, the whole shelf was empty i typically can never ever get it um very rare do i get it usually if i do out of walmart it's only like two at a time but tonight that whole shelf was sold out all the chicken was gone and all they had was vegetable broth and i was just like thank you jesus so i grabbed four of them a little old man was looking at me crazy y'all <laughs> so from the produce market earlier you guys saw i grabbed some carrots these are the brussels sprouts from earlier these are the ginger um, roots that you guys see here. I actually want to try to make some ginger shots and try those out you guys. I'm trying to incorporate other health alternatives into my um, diet as well. In this bag I just simply have some um, beets. Yeah so I like to use beets for juicing you guys so I would typically use this with some carrots, some ginger and now I will probably add like a lemon to help like balance it out or I might add half of that apple that I um, actually did pick up as well. So moving on, the next thing we picked up was this classic ranch. Just to have on back up. Because sometimes if we like it, um, you know, chicken wings, if we order them or whatever, sometimes um, they don't, you know, deliver your ranch. So yeah. Then we picked up some more Aunt Jemima syrup. And then we also got some um, pancake batter as well. I don't see it. 
but um next we picked up this bernard's pure natural acadiana honey y'all i have been using this honey for like literally a year it says it's certified cajun a, a product of louisiana so i did not know that hmm, just learned that just then but yeah so i've been using this one for about a year and i really like it um i will pick up some local honey but i have to go to another store to actually get that so y'all i have fallen in love with these chobani flip cups this is a cinnamon bun fun one i love i love this one so this one is a cinnamon low fat greek yogurt with pastry crumbles chewy caramels and cinnamon roasted pecans mm, i don't remember it having pecans in it but this is so good so i can't wait to try this out i think the last one i had was with the new packaging but i don't think it had almonds in it so that's new and then i just picked up a bigger container of their actual greek yogurt this is a vanilla blend Next, we picked up a couple of mint, Minute Maid juices, and this one is the strawberry lemonade one. The other two are in the refrigerator, and then we picked up some of these um, Pillsbury Grand's Flaky Layers um, biscuits. So sometimes we like to make biscuits on the weekends, you guys, and that's usually when we eat them is on the weekend. And then, of course, we got some cinnamon rolls. This one has the cinnamon icing, of course. It tastes so freaking good. Love those, especially when you get the little munchies okay and then i picked up some apple sauces i want to make some oatmeal cookies um i'm probably gonna go ahead and film it you guys when i do do the recipe it may be this week or maybe next week but i definitely want to try to make some homemade oatmeal cookies because a lot of times i want a snack but of course what other kind of snack am i gonna have unless i make my own so yeah i'm gonna make some oatmeal cookies with that and then they got some lunchables they come with oreos now y'all this is like crazy i remember when oreos i mean i remember when lunchables was just like that's all you got was just the Lunchables and then like the Capri Sun. <laughs> Next, we picked up a new tea. This is the Stash brand. And this is their green tea in the chai green. And it comes in 20 tea bags. So, never had this um, particular tea from this brand. I have had um, teas from this brand before. But not this particular blend, I should say. Um, it says it's full flavored blend with green tea and sweet spices. Brew it up strong with milk and sugar for a rich, delicious drink. Um, if I do use this with some milk, y'all, it's going to be more than likely with almond milk. And then we got a 12 count of organic cage-free brown eggs. All right, yeah, so this is the remaining groceries from our haul. So, um, picked up some of this Oregon chai. You guys have seen me talk about this before over on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, you're missing out because I share a lot of um, behind the scenes stuff, you know, in my day to day life and my Insta stories. So definitely follow me over there. This is the chai tea latte in a vanilla blend, vanilla flavor. And Babe likes this. She um she actually got hooked on it by me because I had brought some home when I worked at an old job. And um I really liked it. And she was like, I gotta have some more. So we've been buying this one for a while. We really do like this particular brand for the chai tea. So we got some Near East um, quinoa and brown rice with the roasted red pepper and basil. And then we picked up a couscous, the wild mushroom and herb blend. Hmm, I wonder how this one's going to taste. Again, I know I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but that sounds like it's going to be good. Next, I picked up these... Um, I picked these up on a whim. I love Nature Valley. I love the granola, but I've never tried like any of their other snacks. So I figured why not try these out. These are their biscuits with almond butter. And it says cinnamon biscuits with almond butter filling. So it says an energy from 14 grams of whole grain, 190 calories per serving, 150 milligrams of sodium. That is a lot of salt. I didn't see that. And 11 grams of sugar. So we'll see how this goes, y'all. I just wanted to pick these up because they were from Nature Valley. And I just wanted to try them out. Because they look pretty good. If anybody has tried these, comment down below. Next, of course, like, where have y'all been? If you haven't been following me, or if you are following me, I don't know where you've been if you don't know what this is. This is my favorite, favorite tea. I've become addicted to this tea. I literally drink it, like, day and night. Sometimes I drink it, like, three times a day. Because it's caffeine-free. And it's a detox tea, and it's a healthy cleansing tea. And I love this Yogi tea. I love Yogi. I love their teas. I've 
tried several of their other blends and just love them i love the fact that they always have like an inspirational you know mantra or some just positive word on their little on the back of the little tea bags or whatever not the back of the tea bags but the actual tag on the tea bag and y'all i love love this blend it tastes so freaking good this is the tea that i seep along with the um actual ready to drink acv drink that i just showed you guys over there on the countertop really really good really really good together so next we picked up some more himalayan pink salt with the grinder i love using the grinder even for black pepper you guys and then we picked up some of course oregano some onion powder and then we got some mahatma brown rice i love this brown rice it's like my favorite one and this is a natural whole grain rice it's a two pound bag you guys i think it was probably like two dollars and fifty cents it was under three dollars and then Bay got her some maple and brown sugar oatmeal. She does eat the rolled oats with me sometimes, um, but that's usually, uh, you know, if we, put, if we put all the good toppings on there, like the strawberries, the bananas, and the blueberries. But usually, if you know, if you're on the go and you're just trying to eat something healthy and get out of the door, this is a good alternative, too. Um, this is usually the only one that I like to eat anyways is the maple and brown sugar. I don't care for all the other ones. Um... And next week, of course, we picked up some more quinoa. Y'all know we love quinoa. So we have the white quinoa. And usually I'll just flavor up my broth. I'll, use, I'll actually cook this in the vegetable broth that I showed you guys. And then I'll actually just add more seasonings to it with a little bit of water. So it can kind of balance out and cook. Because a lot of times when I use the quinoa, I incorporate it into another recipe. So I don't really in a sense season season my quinoa i just kind of give it a little flavor and then i also picked up the tri-color quinoa one this one is a little bit more heartier than this one because it has the different colors it has three different ones in it where this one is just a white quinoa by itself which is a little bit lighter so um just to let you guys know about that if you didn't know and then of course um at bailey's from earlier when we went to the produce market got some bananas no i'm sorry Got these at Walmart because they didn't have any that were ripened at Bailey's earlier. Um, yeah, love bananas, y'all. They're just so freaking good. If you guys have not seen my video talking about the 20 plus foods that I eat for hair growth, definitely check the video out. I'll leave a link down below. It's really, really helpful. And I also listed the list of the 20 plus foods over on my blog at Queen She Me, the blog. So definitely check that out down below and follow. Of course, I got some kale. We also got a, bu a bundle of fresh kale in the refrigerator, but I'm just not going to show you guys because it's just kale. But yeah, we got a bag of kale here as well. And then we also... Um, got two pears and then we got an ambrosia apple i've never had an ambrosia apple never had one before i love fuji apples so i figured why not give this one a go because it reminds me of the fuji apple and then we picked up a white onion of course grapes now does anybody else try their grapes before they buy them Comment down below because I remember as a kid, the first time I saw my aunt do it, I thought she was stealing. And she was like, no, baby, I'm not going to pay for any grapes and they're not sweet. Which makes sense. So if, let me know. Do y'all taste your grapes? Like, Do y'all eat one off the vine and then sample it to make sure it's sweet before you just pick up the whole bag to go pay about 6 to $8? Let me know down below in the comment section. <laughs> And then lastly, of course, we got some lemons. These were like three, four dollar twenty. And then we got some great tomatoes. And then, of course, lastly, we also got some. Oh yeah, this is the Aunt Jemima um, pancake mix I was talking about earlier. And we got some avocados. Y'all don't mind my earring there. <laughs> but yeah, these are some organic avocados. I mean, of course, everybody says stuff is organic, but we don't know. But as long as they're avocados, that's all I care about. So I like to get them where they're already like semi-ripened, but not all the way ripened. Because I can't, I don't like to wait a whole week for mine to ripen. It just takes too long, you guys. So if you guys enjoyed my haul today, definitely let me know down below if you enjoyed this video. Because I figured why not share with you guys. It's been a while since I've actually even shared a haul with you guys. So I'm happy I could bring this one to you today. Y'all smell plant. <laughs> yeah, so Queens, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe so that way you can be notified when I upload new content here. But you have to make sure that you hit the bell to be notified. So make sure that you're doing that when you subscribe. And also make sure to like and comment, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Be blessed, you guys. <laughs>